Item number SCP-5753, Object Class, Cutter, Special Containment Procedures, Armed Agent Agents embedded as cast members of the Walt Disney World Resort are to screen potential guests for a trait that could trigger a rolling effect. This is accomplished by running the individual through a background check via an available foundation operated web analysis bot. All flagged individuals are to be monitored by embedded agents utilizing the 3D Creek Improvement District Security Network around the Magic Kingdom Park and resorts for surveillance. Should a flagged individual trigger a rolling effect, agents are to be dispatched to location 5753 and discreetly apply low-grade anesthetics to all affected guests. Following dispersal, guests are to be offered any number of enticements, including free fast-pass queue tickets and upgraded dining and resort reservations. Description SCP-5753 is a phenomenon that occasionally occurs when a paying customer of the Walt Disney World, who fulfills certain pre-existing criteria, attempts to ride the It's a Small World attraction, otherwise known as Location 5753. These criteria are Strong public investment in far-right or far-left politics, anti-social tendencies, anti-corporate sensibilities, professed cynicism, appreciation of waterfowl. If an effect person attempts to board the attraction, 70% of the time the ride experience will be normal, 30% of the time a worry effect will occur and the ride's pre-existing path will diverge, turning off into an extra-dimensional alternate path directly following the South America room. This space does not exist on any Disney Parks maps, and theoretically should cut directly into the kitchen of the nearby Pinocchio Village House restaurant. Once inside, the boat containing the affected guest is briefly treated to a display which, while disturbing in content, and is otherwise not anonymous and could be theoretically produced by engineers at the Disney Corporation or related contractors. The initial appearance of this alternate space is consistent with the ride displaying the same pastoral wars, repeated playback of It's a Small World, and Mary Blair design rudimentary animatronics. However, a small sign visible on the platform can be seen, reading, Abandon or yoke, ye who enter here. And once the space is entered, an automatic door will close behind the guests, preventing egress. The attraction's music will then display divergent lyrics compared to those originally composed by the Sherman Brothers, which are as follows. He will die alone, you stupid fuck. You were and up on the street, and I wish you luck. You have no friends except your dumb pet duck. It's a small, small world. Following this, a voice imitating a southern accent will exclaim, Yee-haw! on the downbeat. And the music pauses and the attraction lights go out. After a pause of about five seconds in darkness and silence, strobe lights slam on, and a double-time house techno remix of It's a Small World, with significant bluegrass instrumentation, begins to play. The animatronics were rotated out for ones that hold small wooden knives and hatchets. These bubble around erratically to the music at high speed, roughly miming stabbings and decapitations. The boat picks up speed, reaching nearly 60 miles an hour, and the guest enters a dark ride, depicting animatronics of various characters from Disney franchises, dressed as farmers, peasants, 
and stereotypical American rednecks violently assaulting Donald Duck. These displays are seemingly rotated out between rolly events so that a mono animatronic seen by one affected guest might instead be replaced by an Iron Man animatronic seen by another. At the end of a tunnel containing roughly six dioramas, the boat halts and the guests were confronted by a screen displaying an animation of Mickey Mouse and Goofy as French peasants preparing to kill an aristocratic Donald Duck via guillotine. The film is animated in the style of veteran Disney animators Milt Carl and Walt Kimball. In it, Mickey appearing to be voiced by a long-time performer, Wayne Orwin, berates Goofy by calling him an asshat and exhorted him to send this burgery neoliberal straight to duck hell. Donald protests to no avail. Goofy laughs, expresses his hopes that Donald's nephews starve on the street, does an elaborate handshake with Mickey that finishes in an imitated flatulence, and dispatches Donald in gory fashion. The guest was then sprayed with a fine mist of poultry blood. The mixed music ceases, and then the boat is promptly deposited back into the South Pacific section of its small world to finish the ride. As it leaves the space, a voice matching deceased voice actor, Thor Ravenscroft, announces various lines, including, Did you know ducks have violent corkscrew sex? And the vast quantities of shit destroy pond life? Now you know, and we now that's what I call Inferno, it's not too late to give up your poultry. Attempts by agents to breach the inside of location 5753 during a warrior fight have failed.